So today we're creating this fall makeup look and I'm gonna be using all affordable makeup. Some of these products are new products. Some of them are amazing products that I absolutely love. So if you're ready, go ahead and grab your makeup and let's get into it. So first we're gonna start off with skin prep. I've been loving this Elf Skin Holy Hydration Hydrogel Moisturizer. I've used this for months now and I just love how it makes my skin feel. So this is a gel cream that plumps and hydrates the skin. I love it because it's great for all skin types and it has hyaluronic acid so it's going to help moisturize your skin. So I like to apply this before my makeup and sometimes I like using this without makeup. You guys know I love to moisturize my skin before using makeup because it just helps to get the makeup to apply more smooth. The next I'm gonna go in with the primer and for primer I've been using this Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. So I usually use this after moisturizer. This is also a moisturizing primer so you can use it as a moisturizer and a primer at the same time but I really like this primer because it helps to refresh and smooth the skin. So it gives the base of your makeup a really nice smooth texture. So after primer I like spraying my skin with a setting mist. I find that this really helps to lock all this hydration onto my skin so that that the texture underneath my skin is like really moisturized even with makeup on so I picked up the Pacifica vegan collagen hydrating setting mist this is hundred percent vegan and cruelty free which we love so it says it helps to promote hydration and revive dull skin typically during the winter my skin is usually a little bit drier so I like using a setting mist that hydrates my skin while I let this absorb on the skin I'm gonna move on to foundation and for foundation I picked up the NYX can stop one stop foundation Foundation. This foundation has been out for a while, but this is my first time actually trying the foundation. It claims to be a 24 hour matte foundation and it's a full coverage foundation. And that is why I like to really hydrate my skin because if you have dry skin, then you know matte foundations tend to be a little bit drier. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one pump of this and the shade that I got is Sienna. So it looks like the foundation is a little bit light. So I'm gonna go in with a different foundation shade that is usually a little bit darker than my skin. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up with this foundation just to help balance the color so that it's not too light. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the foundation. And for foundation, I love blending my foundation downwards. I feel like that just helps to prevent my pores from being clogged. And it just gives me a smoother blend. And I also like to avoid foundation around my nose area because that's the area of my face that tends to build oils over time. Yeah, this foundation is definitely a matte foundation. It blends beautifully on your skin if you hydrate your skin a lot. And I can definitely see it drying down matte. It's definitely a full coverage foundation. And to help absorb all this excess product, I'm gonna go in with this Sonia Kashuk sponge. This sponge is actually way bigger than I saw it because I purchased it online on Target. And it's honestly really big. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to absorb the excess product and get rid of all those oils on the skin first before continuing with concealer. The next for concealer, I picked up the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. This one is in the shade Caramel. And this seems like a really good concealer for your, under your eyes because it has vitamin C. So vitamin C helps to brighten up your under eyes. So I'm placing this under my eyes on my forehead area and on my chin area. Then for contour, I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick. So this is a dual-ended face shaping stick. So it has contour and then you get another side with highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the contour side to contour. And I like placing my contour right where I see that shadow. And I'm definitely placing a very small amount because this seems like it's very pigmented and very cool toned as well. And I also like to place a little bit of my jawline area. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I like using this Morphe sponge It's like the perfect size for my face and I love this part for the concealer So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap right underneath my eyes And I always like to dampen my sponge before using it because it really helps to give your makeup a flawless blend This concealer seems to be very very moisturizing So if you have dry under eyes and you struggle with like your concealer caking This seems like a really good concealer to help prevent that and I love how easy it is to blend so I'm gonna go ahead and use the round side to blend out the contour and I was like focusing my contour upwards so that it helps to structure my face and if you feel like the product has dried up on your skin you can use setting mist and just spray your face 
and go ahead and give it a blend and it really helps to blend that product if the product has dried down on your skin it seems like this NYX contour stick dries down pretty fast so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this side and blend it out so yeah that contour definitely dries down pretty fast so you definitely want to make sure you blend that out immediately you apply it this is the time you definitely want to apply a cream blush before using any form of powder so I'm going to use the NYX wonder stick so this is a dual ended blush stick so you get two different types of blushes so I got the pink one and the coral one just because those are my two favorite colors for blushes but because this is a stick blush you definitely don't want to directly apply it on your skin because it's going to move your makeup and cause cheeks so I like to just take a brush and just apply that product directly on the blush and I like to focus it on the middle then I like to take the brush and just apply it onto my skin this will give you a smoother finish and won't create any like harsh lines or streaks on your makeup the next I'm gonna go ahead and set all this dewiness and I picked up the lip bar set the face finishing powder I love using finishing powders because they give me that nice clean under eye look so this shade is in the shade golden girl and I just like to pick up this product and place it directly under my eyes to set that concealer and only focus on the areas that I applied concealer then go in with a different powder to set the rest of my face I'm gonna place some for reverse contour as well to help sharpen up that contour and this is what the setting powder looks like on my skin it definitely helps to blur out those imperfections under my eyes and the shade is actually really perfect it's not too light it's almost the same shade as the concealer which I love but honestly I love how bright it makes my under eyes look and it's just really nice and smoothing the next I like to use blotting powder I usually don't set my foundation with powder foundation during the winter because my skin is usually a little bit dry however when I form oils around my nose area I like to tame those with blotting powder so for blotting powder I picked the Revlon color stay matte setting powder so this says blot and it says it's a superfood detox blend that lasts up to 16 hours so I like to pick up a little bit of blotting powder and focus it on the areas of my face that tend to get super oily which is usually my t-zone area and I also like to get right where my nose crease is as well and around this area right here because that's where my pores are and usually that's where oils start to build up on my skin and this blotting powder seems to be super mattifying on the skin which is good and I also like to place a little bit on my eyebrows because I don't like my eyebrows being super oily so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I use the same product every single time to do my eyebrows so this is the Milani weekend brow in the shade espresso I just prefer using eyebrow pens for my eyebrows because they're easier it all depends on preference sometimes I switch to using a pomade but I've been using this for the past like almost a year and I've just been loving it so next we're gonna move on to eyeshadow but first I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids and for primer I'm gonna use this elf sheer primer base and I like to use an eyeshadow base because it helps get rid of those oils on your eyelids and gives it a nice smooth matte base so that when you're applying all your eyeshadows they actually stay on your eyelids without moving and I love this eyeshadow base by elf because it's easy to blend it doesn't dry on my skin too fast making it really easy to apply so for eyeshadow today I'm gonna use this beautiful palette by makeup revolution this is the ultimate nudes palette I got the shade dark it has all these beautiful shades when I literally saw this I was like I have to get this for fall because it has all the fall shades like these mauve tones it has brown it just has all these nice beautiful rich shades so first shade I'm gonna start off with is this middle shade right here and I'm gonna use this shade and apply it to my crease area to help warm up my crease so I usually like starting with a warm color and then blending it in circular motion sometimes it might be a little bit hard to blend with the eyeshadow base but you definitely want to blend the eyeshadow in circular motion to give that nice smooth blend next shade I'm gonna pick up is this burgundy shade right here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this shade with this shade and I'm gonna focus that on the outer part of my eye starting with my lash line and this is a really nice technique for hooded eyes because it really just helps to smoke out your eyeshadow without looking too patchy or without taking away from your eyeshadow look so I'm just kind of like sort of creating a liner with this shadow and then I like to just use whatever's left to blend it upwards 
So the next shade I'm gonna pick up is this shimmer shade right here. And I'm gonna use this shade to place it onto my eyelid, starting from the outer corner and bringing it upwards towards my crease. Then for the inner corner shade, I'm gonna grab this light champagne color. And I like to pop a really bright color right in the inner corners of my eyes, just to help open up my eyes a little bit more. So next I'm going to use the Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara. This is one of my first time using this product. So I'm just going to coat my bottom and top lashes with this mascara. Then for eyelashes, I'm going to use these eyelashes that I got from Shein. This is the BT Lish Lashes. I love these lashes because they're like full coverage lashes. So they're super duper fluffy and you can size them down. So if you have smaller eyes, you can cut it and it'll still give you that nice fluffy look. Then I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my under eye with a brown burgundy shade. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here here then I'm gonna go ahead and take an eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna use that to line my waterline all right so to finish off my face I'm gonna go in with the highlighter from the NYX wonder stick and I'm just gonna place that at the tip of my nose to add that pop then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my fingers then place a little bit on my cupid's bow as well so my skin has a little bit of that natural glow, so I'm not going to add highlighter on top of that. Then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips, and I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. Then for the lips, I'm going to use this oldie, but this is a goodie. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. I've been using this for years, and you can never go wrong with the NYX Butter Glosses. So here we have it with this affordable fall makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to watch my next video over here but other than that i will see you guys in my next video K -L -J. welcome to a channel where it's popping